Hi, I'm Dr. John Nuttall, and I'm the medical director at Quarry Medical here in Kingston, Ontario. And I have a focus practice in dermatology and infectious disease. Here at the clinic, we see a variety of foot problems, including the one that you see on the screen in front of you. This is a patient with varying degrees of onychomycosis, which you would commonly call toenail fungus. There are three different stages of this problem, mild, moderate, and severe. And this patient basically represents probably two of the three stages. Despite what you might see, the big toenail is not considered severe, though I'm sure for some of you that would be really bad. Anyway, let me draw your attention to some of the features that we are looking for when we make a diagnosis of onychomycosis. So let's look at the uh, two seemingly normal looking nails uh, on toes three and four. Uh, we'll go with the fourth one first. Um, you can see that the bulk of the nail is healthy. There's a pink color, a clear clarity to it. And yet, if you look carefully, you can see a slightly creamy look to the edges of the nail that extends down to what we call the nail fold on the sides. That, in fact, is fungus infection. And if you move to toe three, you can see how it has developed and has extended all the way down to the uh, base of the nail. And there's a slight brownish uh, tinge has now crept in as the fungus is changing um, uh, colors with age. Now, if we go to toe three, you can see what I would consider to be uh, moderately severe onychomycosis. The yellow now has developed into a sort of browny uh, hue, uh, has broken the um, structure of the nail, and it's become brittle and flaky, and extends all the way down to the base of the nail. The, the side out here is been relatively spared, um, but the rest of the nail is uh, pretty gross looking. If you go over and look at toe number five, um, you'll see that this nail is completely involved with the fungus. There's some flaking, some white, some brown edges, and but you'll also notice that this nail has lifted somewhat, and this may be because of the fungal infection, but probably more likely in the fifth toe because the patient was wearing shoes that were too tight over the years and uh, has uh, been some trauma in the nail plate where the nail grows from. Incidentally, if you look up at the top of the picture, you'll see some skin changes which are inconsistent with athlete's foot, which I'm sure you know is also a fungus and probably the same fungus that we're seeing in the nails. So this will be treated with uh, topical creams and ointments and it's in the skin is very effective but not effective in the nails. Now let's focus in on the big toe because this is really interesting for you uh, listeners or viewers. What you can see again is a moderate possibly verging on severe case with um, full th thickness involvement of the um, nail plate itself, uh, the yellowing discoloration, the brittleness, the breaking away and it extends across the whole surface of the nail, except if I can maybe just focus in on this for you. Bear with me for a second. Except for this area here, which is approximately a quarter of the nail. And if you can see, there's a stark contrast between the, uh, the nature of this nail, between this region here at the base and this region here on the outer uh, two-thirds. This patient, six weeks ago, received a single treatment of Laser Genesis Plus. Um, you can see, much to our surprise and to the patient's surprise, an almost immediate clearing of the fungus. Now, a toenail takes anywhere from six to nine months to grow out, and you would expect that with subsequent treatments and this patient will probably require two, probably three treatments and we'll do of course all of his nails at the, in, the, in the subsequent treatments. But this person is going to have an excellent clinical response and as you can almost see now 
this nail here looks almost the same as this nail over here on toe 3. So, the effectiveness of Laser Genesis Plus in the treatment of onychomycosis.